Luke as Prime here, so it is time to react to Star Wars Heir to the Empire Chapter 4 by Darth Angela. So without further ado, the one on full screen and let's go! Oh, Looks like a Imperial Shuttle. Looks like Darth Vader's Shuttle, doesn't it, a little bit? I'm still not convinced this is really necessary. All its upper Gone. Captain. It's conceivable we could Ooh, have he's got a pet on him. him <laughs> we might have an easier time convincing him with a squad of stormtroopers along. We might also have irritated him. A dark Jedi. I got to say, Ender does a great job voicing Thrawn in this, doesn't he? Taken lightly, Captain. You seem quite. But I like him far more as Darth Maul. But this Guardian will be a dark Jedi. Who else would the Emperor have chosen to protect his personal storehouse? Is that Mount Tantus? It could be. <laughs> That's a nicely designed tower. Mm. Oh, that music's nice. I don't know if it's already from like a Star Wars. What? I wonder what where it's from. That music. It almost it's composed of this. Oh wait, it was Thrawn ship, okay. So they're landing on a place out there. Human, last two different alien species. Any huh, they've all got a pet on them. Species are hostile towards strangers. Probably. I see the guardian of the mount. Who will nice microphone effect. <laughs> Whoa. Old? I think the air is hostile. Just shot at her. Observe the consequences. Oh, no. Whoa. Jedi Master, I join no one. In that case, permit us to join you, and permit us to show you all the power a Jedi Master could desire. May I ask who we have the honor of addressing? I am the Jedi Master Joris and Sibyls. Hmm. You will now tell me how it was you defeated my attack. It's quite simple, actually. These creatures you see on our backs are called Isala Mir. That's the name of them. They have an interesting and possibly unique ability. They push back the force. What do you mean, push it back? They push its I had a feeling it'd be those creatures who stopped the attack. Much the same way um, it's created by Air pushing outward against water. I've never heard of such a thing. How could such a creature come about? Hmm. I really don't know. 
Not that it matters. For the moment, the ability itself is sufficient for my purpose. That purpose being to defeat my power? You were expecting to find the Emperor's Guardian. I needed to make certain you would allow us to identify ourselves and our mission. And that is... All in good time. And only after we've had a chance to examine the Emperor's storehouse in Mount Tantis. Hmm, so the mountain is all you really want. I need the mountain, certainly. Or rather, what I hope to find within it. That being... The Emperor's researchers developed a genuinely practical cloaking sheet. I want it. And some other, almost trivial, pieces of technology. And you think to find one of these cloaking shields in the mountain? Mm. I expect to find either a working model, or at least a complete set of schematics. But, I also require the partnership of a Jedi Master, like yourself. Oh. Uh, we finally get down to it. This, I take it, is where you offer me all the power even a Jedi Master could desire. Tell me, are you familiar with the Imperial Fleet's disastrous defeat at the Battle of Endor five years ago? I've heard rumors. One of the off-worlders who came here spoke about it, though only briefly. <laughs> then you must have wondered how a few dozen rebel ships could possibly rout an Imperial force that outgunned it by at least ten to one. I assume that the rebels were simply better warriors. They fought better than the fleet, because the Emperor was dead. Mm. You were there, Captain. You must have noticed it. A sudden loss of coordination between crew members and ship. The loss of efficiency and discipline. The loss of, in short, that elusive quality we call fighting spirit. There was some confusion, yes. But nothing that can't be explained by the normal stresses of battle. Really? The sudden last-minute TIE fighter incompetence. The loss of six Star Destroyers in engagements they should have won easily. Nothing but normal battle strength. The Emperor was not directing the battle. I was there, Admiral. I know. Yes, Captain. You were there. And it's time you faced the truth. No matter how bitter you find it. None of you had any fighting spirit of your own. It was the Emperor's will that drove you. The Emperor's mind that provided you with strength and resolve. You were dependent on his presence. That's not true. It can't be. We fought on after his death. Yes, you fought on. Like cadets. So this is what you want me for? To turn your ships into puppets for you? The Emperor's fatal error was that he alone constantly and completely controlled the Imperial fleet. My wish is merely to have you enhance the coordination between ships and task forces. And then, only in carefully selected combat situations. To what end? Power. Mm. The conquering of worlds. The Power. final defeat mm. of the rebellion. The re-establishment of the glory that was once the Empire's new order. Mm. You don't understand power. Conquering worlds you will never again visit is not power. This planet, this city, these people are mine. Mine. I teach them, I command them, I punish them. Their lives and deaths are in my hands. I need your assistance, Master Zabea. And I will have it. Or you'll do what? Have you no greed try to kill me? <laughs> it would almost be amusing to watch. 
Perhaps I seek a challenge in your destruction. That would hardly be a challenge for a man of your skill and power. But then you probably have other Jedi under your command. Hmm. Other Jedi? There are no Jedi left. Two new Jedi have arisen in the past five years. Hmm. Luke Skywalker and his sister. Yes. Leia Organa so. I can deliver them to you. Both of them? Both of them. Consider what a man of your skill could do with brand new Jedi. Mold them, change them, Ooh. recreate them in any image you choose. And with them would come with a very special bonus. Because Leia Organa Song is pregnant. The twins. With twins. <laughs> Jedi twins? Yeah. Very well, Grand Admiral Thrawn. In oh. return for the Jedi, I will assist your forces. Oh. So he's joining the Empire now. Oh. A word with you, Admiral. Certainly, Captain. Come in. Admiral. I have to tell you that I am not convinced dealing with Sabaoth is a good idea. To be perfectly honest, I don't think he's entirely sane. Mm. Of course he's not sane. But then, he's not Joris Sabaoth either. What? Joris Sabaoth is dead. He mm. was one of six Jedi Masters aboard the Old Republic's outbound flight project. Oh. It was intercepted by a task force outside Old Republic space. Oh God! How do you know, sir? Because oh, Jedi. I was that force's commander. But then, who is it we've brought aboard the Chimera? George Sabayan is a clone. A clone? Certainly. Created from a tissue sample, probably some time before the real Sabayath's death. Ooh. I don't like it, Admiral. We can hardly protect the ship from him, while at the same time having him coordinate the fleet's attacks. Mm. There's a degree of risk involved. But risk has always been an inescapable part of warfare. If there's nothing more. No, sir. It will bring us victory, Captain. Quiet your fear and concentrate on that. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, wow, that was amazing. I love that. That was so great. Great voice acting, great, you know, effects and, you know, recreation of that chapter. It was amazing. So, you know, drill, guys, uh, be sure to give the video a like. Also, be sure to let us know in the comments what you thought of this chapter there to the Empire by Darth Angelus. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel more videos coming in the future. And I'll see you all later.